What's up guys? Dwayne Lulu here, Spots and Dots. So today, I want to talk about something kind of serious to me. And I'm going to ask for y'all's comments. And in doing that, I'm not asking for arguments. I'm not asking for starting a fight. Anything like that. So all this is in regards to, you know, people asking the question, how come you got to show the background in your videos? Well, it's not that I have to, it's that that's just the way it goes when you're making videos. You know, and you get the comments, why don't you go somewhere else and do that? Well fish where I want to fish and if I stopped fishing everywhere someone wanted me to quit videoing honestly I couldn't fish anywhere because I fish all over the place I'm not out there doing it on purpose but it's what I enjoy to do just like you enjoy fishing and you go out and you catch your fish um, and that's great so here's my responses to you know you're ruining this area and you're showing the background and well let me answer that question with a couple of questions um so do you think somebody sees that background and just automatically knows where i'm fishing you know I can show you responses. Matter of fact, let me throw them up here. Where are you fishing? Where is this at? Is this the northwest side? Is this the south side? Is this the whatever side? Is this this island? Are you fishing that island? Where do you launch? Where'd you launch out of? I don't answer any of these questions. So not only do I get hassled for people saying why you got to show the background why you got to show the background i get hassled from people when i don't say where places are and i don't i absolutely don't i don't ever say where i am fishing exactly sometimes i may put it in the title what island i'm fishing at sometimes i don't but when people ask me you know where where are you fishing and all these other questions i don't answer them uh you could like i said you could see the replies there is no replies i don't reply to those questions and i'm not being mean or rude it's just i get so many of them people wanting to, oh boy that was close people want to know where i'm fishing and i just don't answer that so it's not like i'm out there telling everybody where i'm fishing guys but to get back to my point of, of answering the question with two que two other questions. I believe I mentioned, you know, do, do you think people really know where I'm fishing just by seeing the backgrounds? Because to answer that, I'm gonna say 100% no. They don't. Now, let's look at another question. Do you watch my videos and see the background and say he's giving it away i know where he's fishing aha there you go right there i know where he's fishing you know why you know where i'm fishing because you already fished that area so am i really putting more fishermen in that area i personally don't think i am because if you know that background i feel like you already know that fishing area you're already fishing that fishing area and that is that's how I truly believe, you know. That's my opinion. Whether I'm right, wrong, or indifferent, that's fine. If you want to comment, please do. Be adults about it. Again, I'm not trying to start fights. I'm not that kind of a guy. I'm as nice as I can be when I'm out there on that water. I'm not trying to start that kind of stuff, guys. I'm over that. I am I'm beyond that, you know. So don't look at it like that. I'm just, I want to hear some of y'all's thoughts on it. Uh, again, you know, I don't, I just don't feel like 
I'm, I'm doing those things. Uh, you know, then you get your comments. I've been fishing there for this many years, that many years, and I ain't never, and now I can't catch a fish. Well, kind of seems like an operator error right there to me because I just fished that area and I absolutely whacked them. So I, I, I don't know, you know. Another thing, you watch the videos for the same exact reasons most everybody else watches the videos because you want to see where I am fishing. So why would you complain and, I, and say, you know, why you got to show your background or something like that? You know, y'all know darn good and well, that's exactly what you're doing. I'm not saying everybody that watches does that, but I am saying I do know people are doing it. You know, that's just, that's just the facts. So, I don't know guys, I don't, I can't make everybody happy again. Uh, I get people that get mad because I showed the background. I get people that gets mad because I don't tell them where I'm fishing. So yeah, I don't know how to keep everybody happy guys. And to be honest, I can't keep everybody happy. All I can do is be as nice as I can can when I see y'all out there and that's it, you know, I try to be nice, I try to be cordial, I try to be respectful. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what else, guys. Woo, that's awesome. But, uh, yeah, let me, let me hear y'all's thoughts. Let me, I, I need to know what y'all think. Um, oh, that was behind it, not in it. <laughs> and to add to the conversation let me just also say what do I do out there when I'm fishing guys those of you that truly follow me y'all know what do I do when I'm out there fishing what do I do with my fish what do I do with it send a comment let me know yeah if you know comment let me know that you're watching and you're paying attention and you're truly watching my videos and you're truly a follower please comment tell these people what i'm doing with my fish i'm letting them go so in all reality it's not my fault that these fish are not as plentiful according to some people because of me because i'm throwing every single fish back so yeah i'll throw all my fish back so it's not because of me that these fish are getting depleted fished out or so people think that's the problem. In my opinion, because people are going out there and keeping as many as they can. Which is absolutely fine. I'm not, it, like, again, if you're being legal, you're being legal. That is absolutely fine. All right, I'm just saying, you go out there with two or three or four buddies, y'all are bringing in 15 fish a piece. Y'all are keeping these 20, 22, 23 inch fish and yeah, that's gonna deplete the population of trout. So, you know, and I would imagine that some of these people that are commenting while you're showing the background and making these comments about that stuff, you're probably those people that keep every fish you can that's legal. Again, nothing wrong with that. I'm just pointing out the fact that I'm not keeping every fish I can. I'm throwing them back, and that's the whole. That's another reason I do what I do. I'm trying to, you know, show people that it can be just as fun to go out there, catch fish, and throw them back, as as you know, or keep just as many as you need. I don't always throw every fish back. Sometimes I do keep fish. When my freezer gets a little low, I'll keep a few fish. My personal deal is, I throw everything back that's over 18 inches oh, so that's just that's just me yeah so yeah that's just another thing to add to the argument or whatever you want to call it let's not say argument I don't want to call this an argument I want it to be a adult conversation but yeah that's just another thing to add to that let's let's think Let's think, and, and if everybody went out there, kept every fish they could, or 
turned the tables. Everybody went out there and only kept five fish. And only kept five fish that were between 15 and 18 inches. I think the fishing would be a lot better. I really do. I really, really do. Again, that's just me. That's how I feel about it. Um, you know? That's not the way that it is. That's not our laws. That's not our regulations. And that's fine. And the only way we can change it is to make our voices heard. And even then, it may not change, you know? So I'm out there pro promoting, advocating, you know, release fish. Only keep what you need. That, that's what's also included in my videos. Not just showing the background. You know, I try to help people out. I try to give as much information as I can. I really enjoy doing it. I love doing it. It's gotten to the point where, as a matter of fact, I ran into Josh Harmon not too long ago, if y'all saw that video, and we got to talking about making videos. We got to talking about when the batteries go out or the camera malfunctions or something like that. It's like, I don't even want to fish anymore. Like, I'm not even out there fishing for me anymore. I'm fishing to make the videos. That's how much I really enjoy doing it. I really do enjoy it, you know. I do not go fishing anymore without my cameras to record. And if there's something wrong with my cameras, then I, I, I honestly, I just don't want to fish anymore. I, I don't know what it is. It's so weird to explain it, you know. I grew up fishing. I've been fishing since I was five or six years old, you know, on the bikes, pedaling down to the bay with my friends, fishing pole in one hand, a bucket hanging on the handlebar in the other with a net. My dad used to make nets. Woo! That wasn't in there. My dad used to make nets. I had my own little four foot net. Go down there and catch my own bait, did it all. Love, love, love fishing. And back then, obviously I didn't have cameras and all that. Love fishing. I still love fishing, but I love doing the video part of it as well. So let me just close by saying this. Appreciate you guys listening and tuning in to me for this. But uh, next time, you know, you come across someone that, man, I don't like the way that guy shows the background in his videos and all that. Tell them to watch this video. Y'all y'all share this for me, you know? Let me, again, let me know what y'all think. I really, truly, truly want to know what y'all think. I personally think if you would stop and truly think about it, like I mentioned earlier, you know, people don't know these fishing areas unless they are already fishing these areas. That's the only way they know. So, yeah. Appreciate y'all's time, guys. This is Dwayne Lulu with Spots and Dots. Until my next fishing trip, guys. We out.